Shalom, shalom, shalom. I'm just going to get straight to the point. Okay, so first, I had to literally write down what I was going to say today because there's just so much in my mind that I want to express. And I have to make sure I got everything out that I've been meditating on without dragging anything out per se. But also getting the key points made clear. With everything that's been going on, I want to make it first clear that I am safe and that I'm not being forced to do anything. I just want everyone, and more so particularly my parents, police, and the Hebrew awakening to know the truth. And that's why I'll be reading off the points that matter to me. So one, I am safe, alive, and well, as you can see. And before I go further, I want to acknowledge that I did lie about my age. And I told everyone I've encountered so far that I've been away from home, that I'm 19 years old going on 20. I use my older sister's age and birthday, and I do want to apologize to anyone that I've hurt by doing so. I know that if any of you knew my age and not just my situation, that you wouldn't have allowed me to fellowship. But basically, I'm no longer at my parents' house because I was being abused by my parents physically and mentally. And it got much worse much my, once my spiritual beliefs changed from that which was forced upon me. There was more that went on in that house that I don't want to go into more detail about at this time. Just know that I decided to leave gladly after being kicked out and have never wanted to look back since. I felt safer out in the beginning stages when I left home, out and about traveling in these streets in this day and age than my, in my own parents' house, and that should tell you enough. I did travel a few states to different Hebrew communities because I wanted to be around like-minded individuals. I did visit a couple of congregations during the feast days slash holy times and was really blessed to keep these holy days set apart until our Alahim. And honestly, had I not led, lied about my age, I wouldn't have experienced the set apart spirit of the creator of the heavens and the earth as I did. And I'm forever grateful. Again, apologetic, but grateful. And as bad as I wanted to return for other feast days to the assemblies, I did not. And I know I could not because of another reason that I'm bold enough now to share now. And that is because I was, and I say was, because over these past months, I've been purging myself and healing, and therefore I've now been delivered from homosexuality. And I know that no Hebrew assembly would accept that in the midst of the congregation, because it's sin to our Elohim and against Torah and the way of our Mashiach. So I never returned because I was ashamed. And on top of me knowing I was away from home and for fear of having to return at home, didn't want to say it's too long around any congregation, assembly, in case they would find out my age, notify police of my family. But here I am healed, free, and happier than I've ever been. And that's to say a lot because I haven't been on this earth at home. And in January, I have the right to be wherever I please on a technical level anyway. And it's already November. So the way I see it, Leave me alone. I haven't been found because I don't want to be. I went through all these links just to be safe. So the real pursuit should be the household I was living in with my parents. And as to why I would go through such measures to be away from them. Again, that should say enough. I don't want to go back. I will not go back. And that's just where I am. I am safe. I am well. And I've managed to take care of myself. And with the savings of money that I got from home over the years, I will be just fine. Yes, my mom made six figures and would give us money. <laughs> but I just wanted to clear the air and make an appearance to let the Hebrew community and my parents and police know that all is well on my end. Whew. Also, my parents know I'm alive because I sent them videos, have called them, and all kinds of stuff since I've been gone, urging them to take accountability for what's been done and to give them an opportunity to reconcile. But they are selfish and in denial. But I bet they didn't tell police that. But anyway, I pray everyone is searching their own hearts to rid themselves of traumas and sin. For the kingdom of Yahushua is nigh. Shalom.